Hi and welcome back to Beeper Bounce Back and we've got another video for you and this one is a corker, an absolute corker. <laughs> it's about... You're making me laugh. What? Oh, sorry. Go on. You, when you turn like that, that got a stiff it's neck. Just, it's <laughs> because of this mic. I'm trying not to like hit it with my beard so yeah. I like, I'm, I'm turning. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, this video is cracker because it is showing the decline of Nicocardo Avocado. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of him. I've never heard of him. He is a guy that started off doing blogs yep. and kind of cooking stroke mukbang videos. Now we have had, right. we've looked at mukbang videos before, yep. uh, people eating stuff which I don't particularly like, but the style he had to start with was quite all right, quite relatively nice. His videos were nice. He had mm -hmm. his pets in there. He did it in his house. He showed you around his house beforehand, that sort of thing. But I'll show. I'll put that on now, and we'll have a quick look. And just give me an overview of how you think his channel is looking. Okay. Right. Uh, so. Like, you know, recently we've seen more. It is a bit weird because he's got a parrot on his shoulder. That is like the only odd thing there. And his house is completely white. No, he, at the beginning of the vlog, he did explain, which I've skipped past, that he's turned part of his house into a little area to film, I suppose like this with our oh, office. Right, so yeah. he's, he's made it white to make it all fresh and nice looking. And he's making Mexican corn pancakes in this episode. And it all looks really, it's quite wholesome. Like he's... He's making it from fresh. He's, I mean, quite he's, healthy. Yeah, it's all healthy, which, which is why it's so pr surprising that his channel goes to where it goes later on. So this is probably maybe five years ago, right? So I was just very. It was this awkwardness inside me, and you know, and like from the time that I last saw him till now, I had come out of the closet. I've had relationships. I've traveled around the world. Like I feel like such a different person, you know, like just. I'm thinking, like, does he even know that I'm, you know, G-A-Y? I don't even know. Probably, you know. What do you think it's looking quite innocent, isn't it? Yeah. And, and like, quite, um, like... He looks quite a happy, go yeah, lucky don't look, guy. Yeah, don't look weird. No, just, just like, normal. Just, just a normal guy feeding his parrot and eating his dinner alongside his parrot. And he's, he's a bit, it's a bit odd that there's a parrot there. That's, that is the most odd so thing about it. It's no different to having your dog or your cat well, yeah. inside of you. I suppose it's like bear, isn't it? Bear. Yeah, but bear's not sat on your shoulder. <laughs> well, yeah, a bit quirky, it'd be a bit weird if he was. Yeah, he just looks all right. I don't know whether I'd watch him. No, it's not my sort of channel, but at the end of the day, it is something that... Oh, he dropped his, his food then. Is very watchable, basically. Yeah. Right, I've got the video sorted and ready to watch right. the next one up. You're going to be shocked. First of all... Does he eat his parrot? <laughs> I think he has, to be fair. <laughs> I think he's eating everybody else's parrot. You will be shocked at his appearance to start with. <laughs> he's a fat fuck now, isn't he? This is, I've just had a look. It was the first video I showed you was 2015, so it's... It's roughly, I think, it's, I don't think this is a new one either. I think he's fatter than that now as well. So this is... <laughs> he's had too many E numbers. <laughs> Look at what's the matter with him. I thought you loved food. I think this is because he'd lost some, he'd lost something. Something he wanted to eat and he couldn't find it, so he just smashed it all up. But he also sits in his car a lot, screams, shouts, cries. He wants locking up, but he's, he's, he's certified right. insane. Look at him. No, 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 to you at all. But if we just... <laughs> Even if you forget about the twerking and him all together, look at the food. Look at the amount of food. It's, it's madness. And the thing is, most of the time, he ends up smashing it up. He, like, eats some of it and then just smashes the rest up. I don't know whether it's to make it look like he's got loads of food and by the end it's all gone. But you forget the fact that he's thrown half of it on the floor. Look. Like, he's reacting to some chicken shut up or whatever and, and then you have chips. Where's my chips? You don't need chips on that lot, do you? Do you? Chips are crisp. Don't forget. Oh, yeah. Chips aren't chips. Oh, yeah. Forget. He still don't need them. Oh. oh, look at his nose. Look at that bogey. <laughs> Look at that running down his face. I see. Like, I've put, Don't get any closer. I've put an hat on today because my hair's a mess. So I would not go on camera looking Blair, Blair Witch 
with snot running out my schnoz. Oh, just grow up, man. Yeah, but the thing is, though, he's getting hundreds, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views. I can't remember what subscribers he's got. He's either a very good actor or I think he's, he's gone. I yeah. think he's clinically insane. I yeah. think something has happened along the way between the beginning and the end. Oh, it's not the end. Hopefully not the end. Not Although the he, has, he has talked about suicide and all sorts. I think he has. I think he's gone. So he's been bad from every McDonald's, so he's gone insane. Oh, talking about McDonald's, one of his latest videos is in McDonald's. Yes. It's, it's an absolute mental one. Well, I'll put that one on now, just a sec. Right, so <laughs> straight away, straight into it. Oh my God. It, this, he's got no respect for himself at all, has he? Like, he's no respect going out that window, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah. L look at the state. And I don't know if he uses that because he needs it. I think he probably does need it. But we were looking at his weight. His weight has gone from 155 pounds to, what was it, 355 pounds or something like that in in eight years now you guys might know he's which is what what's 100 it's like 11 stone 155 pounds like 11 stone one yeah so 350 so is roughly 26 stones yeah, something like that 25 26 stone that's crazy oh my oh. god god that reminds me of having sex with my missus oh you can't say that that's so bad but even look on here, like, you keep showing little things, and it shows his face being slightly thinner, slightly thinner. But then look at him now. It's just, it's horrendous. That's bad. How can you let, like, don't How old know. is he? I'm not sure, to be fair. I can find out. But I've obviously put loads of weight on from when I was younger, because I, I damaged my back, broke my back. And naturally, I've stopped exercising as much. But to go from Ooh. how thin he was, 11 mm. stone up to what he is now in quite a short period of time because of the videos he's making. YouTube is bad for him. I, I wouldn't say that about anyone, but this, yeah. he, I feel like he's lost He's lost it altogether. But if he didn't do it, would he just, just top him over edge completely? Maybe. Could be. But that's just ridiculous. Really Pull your is. shirt down, man. <laughs> anyway, let's watch a couple of clips. <laughs> right, so that you can see the stage he's at now, how bad he's become, how morbidly obese he's come <laughs> you have to be politically correct then, I, you, really? I, I was going to be horrible but i'm allowed to because i'm fat but at the end of the day i just it, it, you where do you think he's come from like obviously you've seen the the video at the beginning where he's got his parrot and, yeah. and one thing or another what do you think his original videos were encompassing like how did he get into it do you think because you don't know you've not seen his backstory you don't know anything about him how do you think he got into it and why attention i think i think a bit of attention i think, I think it was a bit lonely any youtuber it's about attention right i'll give you a no bit. friends maybe yeah it could be that basically he started things off because he met a bo his boyfriend on the internet through a vegan group a vegan facebook how can group. he be vegan well, this is the thing. He started off as a vegan YouTuber. So this is my first time ever making home kin homemade kimchi. And I want to show you guys how I did this step by step. So before I do the tofu in, I have my tofu down here. I want to show you how I made the kimchi. So without further ado, take a look. Here we are in the kitchen, my little sloths. Look at my little fluffy doggies here to join me. Okay, so first you will need one head of cabbage 
we can't get Napa cabbage, so this is the best type of cabbage we have. So cut it in half, cut it in half again, and then chop it into fine little pieces, just like so. Now we're gonna add the cabbage to a clean bowl where it will sit temporarily. Oh, by the way, I am snacking on this very creamy avocado. But before all of that, he went and did a degree in music. Uh, he's a very sort of very good violinist. Don't know what this is. <laughs> Play it violin wrong. <laughs> yeah. Like this. Yeah. yeah. But then something just went in his head and he went from making mac and cheese and nice things to just going and buying takeaway food and piling his, his <laughs> table as high as possible with it and just ramming it in his face. Pile of cheese. Da done. Mm. Mm. Oh. Some Cajun butter. Mm. Day and night with you, that. Shut up. You know, though, I did have a stage, and you know I had a stage when I was. Yes, I know. I think it's linked, and the, I'll show you a clip of him talking about his mental health. My videos where I'm having issues, a lot of it is stemming from like something wrong in me. So I'm just like, well, fuck it. I'm everyone already hates me, or I'm already dramatic. Let me just grab the camera and just like film it. So some of them are like really really real for me mm -hmm. um even though there's no context or no one even understands why i'm even doing like where i'm like <laughs> with that like now i can laugh at because i'm looking back because it was you know months ago but like where i'm like beating my food with the broom yeah or, like, what is that on the raw i was just upset i just it's you were generally upset very very upset i can't even tell you why i don't even remember why because i actually do think food is a massive link to mental health and i, I think it the food can in your head, and this is this is from personal experience, when I was down, I used to order takeaways. But then because I'd eaten the takeaway, it made me feel even more down. I felt guilt for eating yeah. the takeaway. I felt rubbish anyway because you have, like, all the things that it produces, like all the fats that are in your body and you go sluggish and horrible. And it's then a, a sort of like a cycle because then you want you feel rubbish and you want that hit of feeling good again. So you eat more. So you eat more, and then you feel worse, and it's like constantly. Bill, it you can be miserable and eat loads, but you can also be very happy and comfort eat because you yeah. know you are comfortable in, and happy in yourself. So you just eat anyway. I think if you look in relationships and stuff like that, you get a lot of people that that when they first together they're really thin and active. By the end, they're all fat because they've gone. Oh, well, I'm happy now, so I can just yeah. eat. So, That's what I want. I've got the person that loves me for what I ever Exactly. And he's admitted, though, that he his relationship to food is the reason that he now has outbursts of mental health issues where he sits in his car and cries, or he... This clip, I'm going to have to show you this clip yeah. of him in a, in a shopping place going to buy food. It is insane. I forgot my wallet. Rickety old rusty bastard. Discrimination shit. Hey, what bitch? Nobody help me in this place. And I need assistance. <gasps> Ouch, my knees. My knees. My knees. No one wants to look at you. No one wants to see this. Not my flags. Not my precious flags. So as you can see, 
with him bouncing about on a car and like his stomach bouncing up against the camera it's and ridiculous. It is a cross between the Grinch and Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> he's he's just it, bouncing like, around off his head. Yeah, exactly. And then just oh, it's just horrendous. But I kind of feel a bit sorry for him. Something's gone wrong. Something seriously gone wrong. Yeah. If you're watching that, if you're his parent, well, his adoptive parent, because when yeah. he adopted, he was adopted. He's actually from Ukraine originally, and he was adopted and went and lived in America. Oh, that's probably why he's got that. He ain't got like a Ukrainian accent. Yeah, he, he was, he was a baby. Yeah. He was when he was a baby. So yeah, I, I can understand like the concern. You, it's not just his parents and stuff though that have that concern. His viewers have massively mm. had an outcry of please help this guy. Something needs to be done to help him because he's going to be dead. He might not want to help. I, I don't think he a does. Lot, a lot of people don't want help with him. Well, he did. There was a video put out about him where he'd gone from uh, 11 stone, like we mentioned earlier, up to 25. He's now, I've just seen a video where he's got recently weighed again and he's gone up again. He's 28 stone now. So he's slowly getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And he's what? 30, he's 30, 30, 30, 31, I think he's 31 at the end of this year. Now, he has mentioned, he mentioned in 2019 that he was going to quit for a couple of years and that was going to, after a couple of years and that would be it. But we're now like four years on and he's mm. still doing it. Because the thing is as well, he's making a lot of money. <laughs> he's he's loves, making, he? he's, did he see his apartment's worth something two like million dollars or something. $2 million? You ain't giving that up, are you? Yeah. And if the not for love, nor money, or food. If the content though is the content that is harmful, you're not going to give that up if he's making that amount of money. But yeah. the thing is, if you're potentially going to lose your life as a result of it, it's like which because his videos where he's just being normal aren't going to make any money. No. So when he loses it, that people think, "Oh, look at him!" Yeah, and that's it, and he gets shared and yeah. shared about and stuff like that. So it, it's a. I think he's stuck. I think he's on a slippery slide to... Mm. Unless he goes, right, look, let's <laughs> stop, use the money I've got and spend it wisely, maybe, but I don't think he will. No. I don't. I think within 12 months or a couple of years, we'll, we'll get some be, news. Some yeah, yeah. Something that'll be terrible. And it would be a shame because obviously he started off really like clean cut, yeah. really nice. I want to laugh at him. I want to laugh along with him. But I don't think he's actually happy. I don't think that that external, like, oh, I'm stupid, ha ha, look at me, is all just a cover for his absolute misery. It really is, I think. But that's me. Shut up, that's you. You're always happy. On the outside. Right, I would. I know you well enough to know that you're not sad inside. <laughs> it's only... I don't think it's, well, it is possible, but it's not really often. You... I think if anyone, it's me. Not now. It's me a couple of years ago. Like how down and low I was, but on mm. the external, I was very happy and stuff. It, it's very easy to hide it these is. things. It is very easy. And God, it's gone into a bit of a morbid conversation this now. Oh. I don't want to talk about my personal life, but if you have got any friends that you're not 100% sure if they're all right, ask them twice. Don't just ask them once. Ask them are you all right? And they'll probably say, yeah. If you ask them again, you just never know. But anyway. Like with you. Are you all right? Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. Are you all right? right? Fuck off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. I'll deal with it in my own time. Yeah. Fine. No, but I know how to deal with stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And like, if I was that desperate, I would come to you. And we've got that relationship that we mm. know. Leave me alone. Let me crack on and I'll sort myself out. If I was that bad, I'd come to you like I have done to Sue in the past. Do you know what I mean? So mm. it, but I'm in a good place now and it, things yeah, can change really massively. Good place at the minute. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully forever. Now. Forever and ever. Oh, but right. something I want to show you that we've just got through the post, or a couple of things oh, we've just God. got through the post, I'm so happy about. One sec. Right, so we've had a few things sent through. Now this first one, it makes me feel a little bit bad, but it makes me feel so special. So I'm going to read you the, the letter first and show you, in fact, I'll show you this picture. So the guy that sent it is this little lad here and he is an absolute legend. He came to our meetup. Uh, we talked to his dad on a regular. If you ever hear us mention Jason Brennan. Jason Brennan is always on the, well, 
99% of the time is always on the chat on a Sunday morning. Yeah. So this is his son called Lewis that sent this through to us. I'm going to read the letter out to you. And it just ties in a little bit. I hope he doesn't mind us reading this. Well, well, I don't think he does. I but, don't think he does. But but I, I don't hope, care. You should be proud of yourself anyway. <laughs> you should. And I, I was so happy because of this. Dear Matt and Andy, I just wanted to write uh, to you to say thank you for all the awesome videos you make and for all the effort and content you've put into all four channels. I also love watching the live streams. Every night I watch your videos in bed until I fall asleep. I really... <laughs> that boring? <laughs> that's, that's your bedtime bedtime read? I'll, I'll, I'll know. I'm not tired, but I watch them two old twats and now I fall asleep. Yeah, cheers, pal. Oh, dear. I really enjoyed the £150 car videos. It was good to see my name and my dad's name on the car. I've been to so many concerts and boxing matches with my dad, but my best night ever was when we came to the meet-up. I really enjoyed getting up, uh, getting to meet you both. It was great after uh, watching you both on YouTube to finally get to meet you. It was so cool to come up on a stage and be part of the live stream. Your videos have really helped me when I've been sad or if I've been getting bullied or had a bad day at school. Um, and you know what? Things like that just make it all worthwhile. Mm. Like those sorts of comments make it worthwhile because if we can help just one of you for five minutes, it's worth it. I watched one and it really cheers me up. I've told all my friends at Sea Cadets about the channel and told my friends and teachers in school who have all said they'll watch and subscribe. I put all your stickers on my guitar, which I take every week to my lessons. My guitar lessons are from 11am till 12. Do you want us to come or something? Uh, on a Sunday. Oh, but my teacher has moved me uh, to the afternoon because he knows I watch all your, um, you all at 11am. No, just we threatened him. That's yeah. what it were. We found out where your, your guitar lessons were, your guitar teacher. It's right, move it. Yeah, we need that extra view, mate. Come yeah. on. Uh, he also watches you now. I've made a box uh, to help you with your explores. My dad gave me his witness shirt, which Andy's got, which is going up on the wall. Now, we have asked for football shirts, which you can't quite see. It's just off camera, uh, to go from all the places that we've been to. We've asked not for anywhere in the UK, well, in England, but this shirt is definitely going up, only because Lewis is a legend. So that shirt is definitely going up on there with the other football shirts as well. It weighs a it ton, does weigh a ton, you're right. Um, I have bought you some things that might help. Uh, I've got some cans of Red Bull, so he sent us some cans of Red Bull um, each. I know Matt likes it, I do. Unfortunately, I do because I drink far too much of it. Yeah, the 24 uh, packs gone. I bought uh, some boxes of cereal, like cereal bars. I sent us loads of cereal bars through, which is absolutely amazing. Um, oh, they can go in Andy's little girl bag or Matt Short's pocket. I know sometimes it gets cold, so I bought you some Costa cards. He sent us £10 of Costa each out of his pocket money. This this is a young, I don't know how old he is. He's not very old. I think he might be 14 or something like that. Yeah. But he's bought it out of his own money. And this is why I feel bad. But I feel really happy that like he must really enjoy the channel to be able to do that. It's so amazing. Um, and also, I went with my dad uh, to get to the Photoshop and printed out my favourite picture, which is the one I showed you before. Um, of the he had some right looks with that. Oh, with that printed off. I know. He's kept one for his own wall as well and one for in the beeper office. So I will put that up somewhere, whether it be on the art bit or, or behind us. Pride of place. Um, and he's looking forward to the next meetup. So thank you, Lewis, so, so much. It means so much more than you realise these things and sending cards through to us. And also, we got another delivery from Karen. Karen Fowles? Fowles. Um, of some AirPods, which... I wanted, but Andy's decided that he's having. So you can thank you. You can help out with the editing now. You've got them. You yeah, I'll listen to absolute it. Absolute twat. Right. So thank you very much for watching. I know it was a bit of a weird one with with Nick Cardo. Like it started off all positive and laughy and ended up being a little bit depressing. It's a, it's a bit of a sad story. But it is a sad story, and we want to cover lots of different things. So if you've got any videos that you want us to react to, make sure you do that. If you want your name on the T-shirt which is going to be in Beeper Beef videos coming up, make sure you go to paypal.me slash beepers and donate anything and we'll put your name on there. Right, we're off and we'll see you later. See you soon. Bye-bye.